Most all-in-one software claim to do everything, but few actually deliver. And if you've been searching for a system to run your business, you've probably come across two major names, Odoo and Zoho One. But which one's really the better fit for you? Hi, I'm Jeff Pudiak with Software Connect. And in this video, we'll compare Odoo and Zoho One. Not just list features, but help you decide which system actually works for how your company runs day to day. And a quick shameless plug, if you like straightforward, no fluff software breakdowns, hit the like button and subscribe below so you don't miss out on the next one. Let's get into it. Odoo and Zoho One are often called lightweight ERPs. Both aim to help you manage your entire business from accounting and customer relationship management to inventory and HR. While they look similar on paper, their approaches are completely different. Odoo is all about flexibility and scalability. Think of it like building with Lego bricks. You start with one app, use it as long as you'd like, and add more as your business grows. You can choose the free community edition or upgrade to the paid enterprise version, which comes with extra features and support. Zoho One, on the other hand, takes a very different approach. Instead of building your own system from scratch, you get an entire toolkit, pre-built, assembled, and ready to go. Zoho One includes over 45 cloud-based apps that handle everything from sales to customer support and marketing. You can subscribe to Zoho One for full access to all the apps, or pick and choose only the ones you need, like Zoho Books, Zoho Inventory, or Zoho People. That flexibility in packaging is a big part of its appeal. But the real deciding factors usually come down to customization, pricing, and core features. First, let's talk about customization. Odoo gives you control. It's open source, which means you can customize practically everything, even down to the source code. It's why it's a top pick for industries like manufacturing, wholesale, and e-commerce, where you often need deep integration between inventory production and sales. But that level of control comes with a trade-off, complexity. There's a learning curve, and you'll likely need help from an implementation partner or developer to get fully dialed in. Zoho, by contrast, is designed for ease of use. It's cloud native, works out of the box, and is ideal if you want a comprehensive system without heavy setup. You won't get the same level of customization, but you also won't be buried in configuration steps. That said, Zoho does offer some automation tools. With Zoho Flow, you can connect different apps and build custom workflows, but it's not the same as having access to source code. You're still operating within Zoho's built-in limitations. That's why I'm giving this one to Odoo. Deployment is another big difference between the two. Zoho One is primarily a cloud solution. Most apps run online and only a couple, like Zoho Studio and Zoho Analytics, offer on-premise options. Odoo gives you more choices. You can self-host it on your own servers, run it entirely in the cloud, or go hybrid with their hosting platform, odoo.sh. Just keep in mind that this does add extra hosting costs. But if you're looking for a flexible deployment option, Odoo is a clear winner here. Let's break down pricing, starting with Zoho. Zoho One starts at $45 per employee per month for your entire workforce, or you can pay a higher rate for just the users who need access. Bundled suites and individual apps are also available if you only need part of the platform. Odoo offers a free community edition with limited features and a free single app online plan for unlimited users. For businesses that need the full suite of cloud apps, Odoo Enterprise starts at about $39 per user per month with higher pricing for advanced features like customization or self-hosting. So which one is more affordable? For small teams or startups, Odoo's free community edition or single app plan can be the most cost-effective starting point. But if you need a wide range of tools and want everything integrated out of the box, Zoho's bundle pricing may offer better value at scale, even if the cost per user is higher. But here's what most people miss. While Odoo's licensing fees are low, the cost of implementation, customization, and hosting can quickly add up. Dependent upon how much tailoring you need, your total cost of ownership could approach that of a full ERP system like Microsoft Dynamics. Pricing really depends upon how your business is set up. Things like team size, IT resources, and whether you want to self-host can all shift the numbers. That's why it's tough to pin down a one-size-fits-all price. The good news? We can do the legwork for you. Just head over to softwareconnect.com and we'll match you with ERP vendors like Odoo and Zoho, complete with custom quotes based on your exact needs. It's free, fast, and takes the guesswork out of the search. Now, since this is often the heartbeat of any business, let's see how each system's accounting features compare. Odoo simplifies online payment through customer portals and e-commerce checkouts. It supports various payment methods, including PayPal and Stripe, and accommodates cash on delivery. 
Transactions are securely handled by certified payment processors with fees typically ranging from 1.5 to 3.5%. However, Odoo doesn't have its own payment gateway. You get seven invoice layouts with customization options like logo, color, scheme, font, and tagline or footer changes. Plus, Odoo offers 20 reports covering all the essentials. Balance sheets, profit and loss, cash flow, tax reports, you name it. All of these can help you track cost and profitability by project or department. Zoho Books supports online payments via multiple gateways, including Stripe, PayPal, and Square, with options varying by regions. It also allows for direct ACH transfers and select areas. Zoho Payments, its built-in solution, provides more payment methods such as UPI, cards, and net banking, each with different transaction fees. But Zoho shines when it comes to invoicing and reports. It offers 21 invoice templates. You can fine-tune font types, colors, orientation, and even automate reoccurring invoices. For reporting, Zoho gives you 80 financial reports, from cash flow to aging summaries with drill-down capabilities for deeper insights. So in the end, I choose Zoho Books for its broader reporting tools, more flexible invoicing options, and built-in support for ACH payments that help keep cash flow steady. So which one should you choose? Odoo is the better choice for most businesses that need a scalable, flexible, and fully customizable ERP. It rivals major platforms like NetSuite and Dynamics, but at a much lower cost, especially if you don't mind handling some of the technical setup. But if you want something that's easy to use, fast to deploy, and budget-friendly, Zoho One is a strong contender. It's perfect for small businesses that want plug-and-play tools without diving deep into technical setups or customization work. Of course, these aren't your only options. If you want even more recommendations, be sure to check out our roundup for the best ERP systems for small businesses. So what's your take? Are you leaning towards Odoo or Zoho One? Maybe you've used both and have your own opinion. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear what worked for your business. Still not sure what's best? That's what we're here for. Click on the link in the description or head to softwareconnect.com for your free consultation. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth software comparisons and honest insights. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.